the report that just came out about experiences and views on policing and crime is great, especially given the kind of racial reckoning and the challenges that we've experienced nationwide across policing and also the crime issues that exist in Detroit. Detroiters as a whole hold a nuanced set of beliefs about the police that are very ambivalent. When you take a step back and look at it from the standpoint of the debate about police reform versus police abolition, I think it's really hard to put people in one of those camps. It's hard to say how much support there is for defunding the police or abolishing the police when a lot of people still view the police as necessary element to trying to deal with the problem of crime in their neighborhoods but they hold feelings of deep distrust and dissatisfaction with the way that police is working right now. A lot of times we have to rely on larger federal data sources to inform us of what's going on in communities. But a lot of those are limited in the questions that they ask and the ways that they collect. And so DMACS fills a really unique niche in amplifying the voices of Detroiters. A lot of people were very happy to be asked questions about the police. For example, one respondent said, thank you for covering racial inequality and systemic issues with police and government plaguing our communities. It's refreshing to see a survey cover those topics and at least plant the seeds in our community's minds if they don't already know the institutional and systemic racism, classism, et cetera, that impact marginalized communities. People on the West side were more likely to have heard a gunshot in their neighborhood. That's not necessarily data that you're gonna be able to get in larger data sets. As researchers, you know, there's so many things that we would like to know about that we just don't have data to answer and DMAX helps to fill that gap. Mm -hmm.